Columbus. Okay, uh, my name is Phil Bean, and uh, I'm from Milford, uh, New Hampshire, uh, along with my wife. And uh, painting is something that I've always, uh, not always since I was really young, but I started picking up in, more in my adult life. And uh, it's something that you, you, you paint because it's, it's sort of a passion. You have to paint. And uh, I'm kind of driven to it. So I like to paint in oils and watercolors. And um, this area is very good for subject matter. I like to do landscapes and uh, the different aspects of landscapes, uh, whether it's different seasons and different moods. The light's important, the color's important. And um, you're always looking for these things. And uh, I really enjoy what I'm doing. Yeah. Okay, yeah, um, yeah. Mount Monadnock uh, is kind of a special mountain to paint. Uh, we always, uh, being close to it is, is, is nice because I can access it at different seasons, different times of the year. And um, when you paint Monadnock, if you paint it once, you're just beginning to paint Monadnock. There's so many different views, so many different aspects of it. It's not like a single hill out there. It just has a lot of... A lot of character when you start getting into the uh, painting different views of it and um, I found that I've always got to take a second look because there's just different things you're always discovering about it so uh, we used to live in Alaska so we were surrounded by mountains and then before that California and I've been to a lot of the uh, mountain areas even in Wyoming and Montana and it's nice when you get New Hampshire you, people think well there's no mountains there well no there is and it's like having a little little piece of the mountain area and a, a lot of little areas in New Hampshire. It's like you know, kind of a cross, uh, a cross view of the country in a sense. I'm a full-time painter. I love to paint. I've painted my whole life. And I didn't paint when my children were very small, but I immediately returned to it. And I pay for Nadnock a lot. I often joke that they're going to offer me a parking permit down at Perkins Pond, especially during the fall. I, I see Steve Hooper down there frequently. He's down there taking photos for the Sentinel. I'm down there painting the mountain again. And it's wonderful. People say, don't you get tired of painting Monadnock? I don't think you ever could. It's different during every season. It's different every few hours. I usually bring several canvases. There's a big canvas here that I was working on in tandem with another because I'd work on this one. And when the light changed after an hour, an hour and a half, I'd switch to the big one to the other one, um, the, the full daylight. And you know, if you're going to paint in the same location all day, you're going to go through many canvases. And I suppose the question would be, did Monet get sick of his cathedrals? <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> I just wanted to make sure we said something about our friend Dave Dodge. These paintings here were done by Dave. Dave is a wonderful plein air painter who you will see really frequently out on the roads painting Monadnock. He paints outside summer, winter, spring, and fall. I don't really know how he does it. He also travels to Europe and paints there. He is a dyed-in-the-wool plein air painter and a fabulous artist, as you can see. I think probably most of the artists here work in oil, and I know I do, and I know that Dave does. My name is Alicia Graciotis, and I'm from Marlboro, New Hampshire. Uh, I'm a painter. I uh, primarily try and tell stories in my work. I particularly like painting Mount Monadnock um, because I love to watch the differing colors that emerge as the light changes from dusk to dawn and from dawn to dusk. Uh, it illuminates differently and it brings out an energy and I feel it very spiritual. The editor and publisher of Surrey Cottage Books. Uh, and my office is in Keene, but I live in Surrey. And uh, from the start of my business, I really thought that Madadoc was a worthwhile topic to write about. And people have written about it, of course, for nearly 200 years with the poetry and plays and dances and music and all those kind of things. Uh, but the, the, of having a history, it really went back to Alan Chamberlain's uh, book and also the Grand Madadoc. 
which, which came out in the late 1930s, so it was somewhat out of date, although I think it's a wonderful book. And it, at first I thought about updating it and, and doing things, but as I got, did more research about the book, I realized that there was more than enough to write about it. As it turned out, our book is like 400 pages. So there's plenty to write about in Manhattan. Not just its history, but the famous people who hiked there, and the efforts to save it, which went on for a century, uh, people who wanted to protect it. All of that makes a compelling story, actually many compelling stories. And so, so my book, really, my first book, uh, Manhattan, More Than a Mountain, was really to tell that story. And it was just a matter of organizing all that stuff. I had a whole file cabinet full of notes by that time. And it was a matter of organizing it into, uh, and I, I didn't want to do it chronologically. I wanted to do it by topics. I'm Chris Reed. I'm from Jaffrey Center. And um, I've been painting uh, uh, for quite a few years in pastel, and I just started in oils. Um, and I was a weaver before that for 10 years. And the paintings I've displayed here are all of Mount Manadna. <laughs> Well, Manadnock's part of our town, and I, I have a piece here that I did around town, and it's just, it's part of our town, and so I didn't, when Steve asked me to present some of the pieces, I, I forgot that I did Manadnock. Um, I, I, I was thinking more of it was on East Hill Farm, but it's just part of our town, and it's part of the, and it uh, offers great blue color background. <laughs> Dallas, New Hampshire, and I'm inspired by nature, I'm inspired by the scenery that I see as I'm driving or riding along the road, I'm inspired by things I see when I'm walking in the woods, and I think behind it all is, is our wanting to share what we've seen, and oh gosh, you should have been there that day, the light was hitting the mountain in a certain way, or I saw this little blade of grass that sparkled, and I just had to try to paint it. Um, we were trying to tell a story, we were trying to, trying to describe what we see. Um, I think I've painted, or I've, I've drawn ever since I can remember, but I've really gotten serious about it in the last uh, 20 years. I've been fairly constant taking lessons and had an opportunity to um, paint Mount Manadnock with a, in a plein air class with Peter Benucci a couple years ago. And since then I've gotten a lot of paintings from all different sides of the mountain. And it's very interesting to see all the different shapes. Um, we're used to seeing it one way in the Keene area. And to go over to Rinch and see it exactly the opposite shape is, is, is interesting and challenging paint. They have a lot of fun with it. I love painting Mount Monadnock because um, it's a beautiful place uh, and I find people have uh, really demanded that I get a lot of requests for paintings of Mount Monadnock. I think people uh, feel a connection or have a connection. Um, I've been commissioned to paint Mount Monadnock and I found um, it's beautiful. All the different seasons, um, all the different locations, different angles, and people relate to it. Um, they have uh, a memory, they have uh, a desire, a wish to heal, or whatever it may be, they, um, they, they feel something from it. Um, and so do I. I it, so it's a beautiful thing. My name is Sienna Giffen. I live in Nelson, New Hampshire. Part of the reason I love Manadnock is it's, it's right out my front windows. I can watch it breathe and move every morning. Um, it's just a piece that needs to be painted. I need to record those moments. It's very special. I did with my mom many years. So here I am. <laughs>